All right, you know what we're here for. Game With is a Japanese website that does coverage for Grand Cross, and they actually have pretty good guides. If you see here, if I translate to English, they have guides for you know, the demonic beasts. They have like guides for the tower. Um, you know. The, the objectives for the tower if you don't know how to beat each individual stage they will give you some examples so in general is a good website but i love their lists god their pvp top 10 teams is amazing and we're going to be doing it right now going from the worst the 10th to the best the first and the best team in the game according to them and to start off is a blast from the past king green galfer and keo I haven't seen this team in so long, and they have it on their top 10 current best teams in the game as the number 10. And I I don't even think this should be a discussion to be in a list like this, because it's how old it is. Yes, if you go first, it's not a terrible team. Um, the problem is, I think King unfortunately has grown to be a little outdated um just, he just doesn't hit as hard as maybe well that was unfortunate uh maybe you'd want him to and then there's the the problem of the team has terrible cc so you need to go first because if you go second you lost you need to go first but the team doesn't have good cc because green galfer and keo I mean, Kyo has okay, but Green Galfer has terrible CC, and Kyo has okay. Zhao has really good CC in the back, but King has okay as well. King has pretty good as well. He doesn't have, like, one of the high CCs in the game as some of the other festivals do, but he has pretty good CC. It's just Tarmio Link, kind of cocked King as well. I don't know, this is an odd one to still be on the list. Um, and there is a lot of King Copium I see here and there. I love this character. When he came out, he was the best you in the game. It's just... Look at his damage. It's just not the damage you'd want to see, right? Um, and I think we lost here, even though we did go first. Should I have checked for... I sh maybe I should have checked for uh, dodge food. But... A bit unfortunate. I don't think this should be in any discussion of still being a top 10 best team in the game. Maybe you can convince me that it's a... Top 30 best team in the game, but top 10, I, I don't think so. So this, <laughs> this is a funny one, but at least I got to use a team that I don't really get to use because, or C, because no one's using this. Legitimately, no one's using this. Both of these characters are encroaching, we're going to no damage. And we might still win this. Um, Darkness is going to go away from King. But the shield is incredibly weak. It's so weak, in fact, Hendrickson broke it. Oh well. Now, this is also a pretty funny one. The N Patience team. And I... I did make a video on this, like, a little while ago. Because I maxed out the Patience food. Oh, no, sorry, not food. Uh, the Patience card set. And I'm using it right now. This team sucks. Like, I am... Um, very surprised it's even a consideration to be here. Like, sure, yeah, against Trader Meliodas, it's okay. But against most other teams, I mean, even against Asterosa, I think I'm, I'm kind of screwed if he, when he encroaches me, right? But this team just sucks. It's a bot, thankfully, so we're, we might win this. But no, th this should not even be... A, look how weak King is with all support. I'm using attack as well. This should not be even a consideration to being the top 10 best teams. By the way, I am making my own list tomorrow, I think. Um, making top 10 is like, there's a lot of teams, right? That you can make with a 10 list. So uh, I was going to make five, but I'm going to make a top 10 tomorrow. And you guys will also be able to shit on my list like I'm shitting on theirs. So that's going to be good. Um... Damn, I want to go for King's Ultimate, I think I will. I'm going to go for this. And... Taunt, so that they can't reach King. Because the counter is going to make King get 3 Darkness. Uh, but then if I Taunt... Unlikely he'll be able to touch King, because the AoE will not do damage. Shield, plus some, um, you know, reducing his Pierce and everything like that. 
Level 3 for Staros, it's fine. Does he even break the shield? No. Good. Good. I don't know. It's a funny thing that, you know, it's still here. I'll be honest. I I'm kind of... Amused. That it was still a consideration of theirs, but... It's just simply not good enough. I am 6-6, six, six, man. King, you should have killed that. It's just simply not good enough. Um, ah, it's unfortunate. At least the shield didn't break. It's just that most teams in the game... Like, if you, if you face a mono green, you lost, obviously. And... Most teams in the game, like, maybe they will struggle not to break the shield as easily, but they will break it. And... The ults... Like, what can you do about the ults? Except this one, clearly. This one... Oh, it was 1-6. Okay. I'm pretty surprised that they ulted and killed, but it was 1-6. Yeah. Uh, can I just end this? King is disabled. I'm just gonna move on. Th this match is just long because my team has no DPS. And neither does his, apparently. Good damage, King. Good damage. Now, next up is actually the Goddess team. With, obviously, Green Sauriel, Bloody Liz, and Margaret. And I'm actually, you know, pretty okay with this. God damn it. What am I looking at? I'm not... I need to make the video, Liz, I'll actually make it today. This is the second time I see... I can't use a counter! I can't AoE! Oh my god. Uh, I don't know if I can win this. Genuinely, I don't know if I can win this. Because I can't... Can I AoE? How much HP does he have? 85k. I can AoE with Margaret. I need to start doing damage to now for me. Oh no, this is this is ungeared. What am I saying? I can actually attack Frogin. It's fine. He has way more health than them, uh, than he otherwise would if we're t we're, we're playing uh, geared, right? Frogin ult. That's an interesting one. Oh no, okay. Just taunting. Oh, either way, goddesses. I think are a fair number eight. I wouldn't say they are great, you know, I wouldn't say that they are amazing uh, currently in the meta, but they're pretty good in, in the top 10 position, like in, a, in the top 10 list. I think goddesses are um, are worthy of being here, right? Um, this shouldn't kill for Audrin. Yep, nice. I think goddesses should be here. Liz basically carries the team. For the most part, because, you know, with Liz increasing the stats alongside Margaret, you get to the point where Liz's stats get super high and stuff like that. And uh, she she can, like, really, really help in that regard. Only problem I have is, like, I don't know. The DPS can be very weak. Um, apart from when Liz, you know, she gets the stats and stuff. But uh, how, how long far am I from getting the stats? Four stacks. So if I do this. This. And this, I'll get it. I need to do. I, I need to ult here. And I'm not gonna kill. Sauriel is probably gonna die to the um, now for me ultimate. But it is what it is. I need to ult here and get my revive. Do I kill? Okay, thankfully, thankfully I killed both. That's good. Liz, being six six, she can actually you know do okay damage with the ultimate, which is at that point you can actually still win. It's a problem when you don't have Liz 6 6, I feel like. Because then her ultimate really sucks. It doesn't do any damage. The revive eh, is very well like circumvented by the enemy and stuff like that. But goddesses can still compete. You can easily get champ one of goddesses. Um, if you have a pretty, you know, powered up team and stuff like that. Oh, he, <laughs> he wants to wait for the revive to go away. Fair enough. Uh, I'm gonna push a Margaret ultimate. I don't even have to waste it. Ah, I wish I had a, a card for... Uh, I'll waste his blue card. I wish I had a card for uh, Sauriel here so I could push his ultimate as well. Because at this point, now for me, has to ult. 
I don't know, that fraudulent and ungeared, I don't know about that. If it was level one, it would be way scarier. But I've been saying, don't use Fraudrin, use Liz. Blue Liz is way scarier because she full heals, right? I'm like, obviously, Fraudrin gives more ultimate gauge, but Blue Liz heals, you know? Oh, sorry, I was dead. Oh, your now for me sucks. Do you even have the, the costumes upgraded? Jeez. Okay. <laughs> Uh, that, that's a death. That, that, that's a kill. I think it's a kill. So yeah, you know, when Mayao comes out, I think Green Sauriel is going to be replaced. Um, but we'll see. And hopefully Mayao is going to make this like number one. Potentially. Now next up on their number seven spot is uh, Lilia team. Lilia, Rimuru, Kyo, and Zaldras. Now they call it the Kyo and Zaldras party, which I find it to be kind of funny because, I mean... Okay, Zaldras is a pretty big part because of stats, and, you know, Kyo really helps with the debuffs, de debuffing and stuff, but realistically, right, this is the Lilia team, because Kyo can be replaced. Kyo can be easily replaced by a multitude of other characters that provide debuffs, Festival Gaffer, even the new Festival Merlin is really good for that. Um, Rimuru can be replaced, he's a great option because he provides so much damage, but he can be replaced if you really want to. Lilia... Not so much. Lilia is the driving force of this team being super tanky by having so much HP. Um, especially if you're playing geared. I'm playing ungeared here, but it doesn't really matter. If you're playing geared here, you're or you're gearing her with HP defense and stuff like that, right? And uh, obviously, <laughs> she hits so hard, right? So, I don't know. Uh, in that regard, I, I find it to be kind of funny, but regardless, it is a very powerful team. Most certainly in the top 10. Uh, still in the top 10 best teams in the game. And this is a team that people have been using since, you know, Lily came out. People were using her with Kyo and Zeldris. And... You know, Rimuru came out and was like, okay, th these these characters work so well together. Because Rimuru hit so hard as well. And I don't know, Lilia... If they decide one day to make good Catastrophe characters, she could be even better. But as is... We've been uh, getting some pretty mid ones, like the Halloween Easton, right? It is what it is. Now, following up, it's a team that should be a little bit familiar. The Ragnarok party. We have Red Brynhildr, uh, Sigurd, Dian's Relic, and Zaldra's in the back. Which, the only thing I'll change here is that I wouldn't use Zaldra's in the back. I would personally go with um, Ragnarok Bon. You're getting a little bit more damage, but... Zaldras does, in fact, provide more um, survivability, because by debuffing the enemies, you're actually lowering their attack related stats with both Brynhildr and Zaldras. Um, I'm not going to play another match, but I would just say, this team is honestly a good position here. I would say, like, a few weeks ago, I would put him in number one. But now, with the most recent releases, I think, was it sixth place? That's a good position for them. And it might be around the same place as I'm going to put it on my list. Again, a few weeks ago, number one. Now, with the new released characters that we got from the past month or so, I think that this is a good spot for them. Now, this next team I have a big problem with because I think it's incredibly outdated and also should not be on this list. And you can already see it's Rimuru, DN, Trader Meliodas. This used to be the best team in the game as well. Like a, a long time ago at this point. This used to be the best team in the game when Rimuru first came out and stuff like that. Now? I don't know, man. This team, it just isn't it anymore. It just really isn't. You're going for ult rushing with Rimuru and Meliodas here. Either or, that's the goal. But there's so many teams that crush this. So many, including the one we're facing right now. Like, I, I, I didn't even go for Meli's ultimate here because I knew he was just going to die if I did. Um, there is just simply no way to circumvent a lot of the teams that you're going to be facing. Especially Mon Mono Green just obliterates you. It just obliterates you. Um, so this team should not be on top 10 whatsoever. If you're going to ult rush with the end, you should be using Margaret, first of all. Uh, the cleansing is huge. And it's just no. I think ult rushing in general is not in a good spot currently. Uh, I think that... As is, there are so many teams that cock you, it's crazy. And 
you can sneak in some wins against like some bad teams, but yeah, look at my damage. My damage sucks. I chose to go first as well because I feel like if I go second, I'm I'm just gonna lose. Like, I can use dodge food and that might help, but if you go second with this team, you're gonna get crushed. Thankfully, we got ignites and all of them, so it's not as bad. But yeah, the ignites are gonna kill me actually. <laughs> Oh uh, no, this team sucks. I don't recommend using this team at all these days. Again, you can sneak in some wins against some unsuspecting victims, but they're all they're, my team's all dead right here. My team's all dead. Um God damn it. Dan might still be able to win this. It's just not good. It's not a good team. Just don't use it. It's just not a good team. Now, this is basically a retelling of Ultra Rush, uh, but instead of using Trader Mali and Rimuru, you're using Margaret and Liz. I do think this is better than using Trader Mali and Rimuru, but we're going against a Philo, and I'm pretty concerned Margaret's just gonna die. I'm using Dodge Food, because this time I'm actually comfortable with going second. I think we're less uh, destroyed by going second here. Unfortunately, Dodge Food doesn't... doesn't um, Stop you from being debuffed by um, Merlin's passive. This is better. Uh, although, I still wouldn't say it's like a top... What is this? Four team in the game? This is the fourth best team in the game? No. I would not say that this is the fourth best team in the game whatsoever. It is better than the other team, for sure. But can I even win this? I don't think I can. Like, it's just there, there's so many teams that destroy Ultra Rush these days that I cannot, with you know, confidence, say that this is a top four best team in the game. The number four? I don't know. If Liz could heal faster, should you know, maybe help here? Maybe. If maybe, I don't know. If the team had some way of survivability outside of getting the ult for Liz and having the revive, maybe. As is, I cannot tell you this is the fourth best team in the game. Reinhardt destroys this. Um, as you can see, Merlin obliterates this. Demons destroyed this. Um, now for me, destroys this. It's just so many teams in the game obliterate this comp. Margaret's dead. Uh, does this hurt? Does she? Nice. That, again, I cannot in good conscience say that this is the fourth best team in the game, but we're gonna win this, so that's good. Um, let's attack with Liz first. Well, double attack with Liz? Or do I attack with... Uh, I'm gonna attack with DN. Uh, just to make sure that Merlin dies. I think Philo should die from the ult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shubo, Shubo, Shubo. But I don't think Merlin will. Yeah. If I had the passive, uh, like Liz's like stats, I think I would have killed Merlin. But Liz takes so long to proc her stats. That's my biggest problem with Liz since her launch. She takes way too long to proc her stats. Yeah, Margaret being able to cleanse is really huge help. Like, this is what I'm saying, like, if I had faced this team with the one that we just played with, which, by the way, number five best team in the game, apparently, I, ha I would have had no way to circumvent the, the debuffs and stuff like that because I didn't have cleanse, but... Um... I mean, we, we're okay here. I'm gonna level two with, uh... With... Yeah, yeah I'll do this. They should kill. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't say this is the 4 best team in the game, but you can still get some wins here and there. Liz, I would still say you're better off using, like, I don't know, Rimuru? Someone that can actually one-shot with the ultimate, because Liz, as you can see, didn't kill Merlin. And because she has Tarmio Link, she's just been chucking along, not dying here. Uh, Tarmiel Link still exists, right? As we're using it on DM. Um, so I would say I'll maybe go with like Rimuru. Even Trader Melly. Because 6-6 Liz. 
wasn't able to kill Merlin, so, you know. Now, as we're approaching the big three here, we see Reinhardt with uh, Bon, Arthur, and Twiggle. Now, oh, it went first. That's not real player. Um, I'm not going to say that Bon is bad, okay? Bon is a totally usable unit. But I would not say Bon is the number one option for Reinhardt. As is right now, you can still use Bon with Reinhardt. It is still a valid option, but it's not the best. With Reinhardt, I think the best option is either use Nalfami. Honestly, Nalfami with Reinhardt is pretty cracked because you have two taunts um, and it gives you a little bit more HP. Or you use Twiggo in the front and Liz in the back. Or you use Terry in the front instead of Bon. Those three options are better than Bon. Uh, so, although Bon is still a valid option, I would say, it is not the best currently. Um, you have Tarmy Link, right? Yeah. I'm just gonna make sure that Melly dies. Oh, I'm, I'm scared to attack him like he has... <laughs> like he has Chandler. Okay, well... I just to make sure that Melly dies so he doesn't have the Pierce AoE, because I don't really care about uh, Zaldrus' AoE, really. He probably has Chandler in the back, given the, the front characters. Oh, I was thinking of the other Chandler, actually, not this one. Um, I don't know. Reinhardt is super powerful. I, I, I don't need to tell you, right? Uh, but uh, Bon is kind of aged, you know? Bon is really aged. You can have Bon. Oh, nice full heal. You can have Bon actually win some matches here and there when the enemy is not suspecting, uh, it, but it's not very common. It's just simply not very common. <clears throat> bon will more often than not be a hindrance to you than a perk. He's more of a, I don't know, fail safe, right? I think Bon in the back is still a good option for, uh, for a lot of people that don't have the best teams because if you get lucky when he comes for, uh, fourth you can get some pretty cheesy wins but not the best option although Reinhardt obviously should be here in the top three he's really good I think on my list uh, Reinhardt will be number three a actually specifically number three as well but not with Bond I'm actually thinking, do I put him with Terry or with Twiggo in the front? I think Twiggo in the front. Or even Slater. But probably Twiggo in the front. Twiggo in the front is just so OP. So, so OP. Now, next up in the number two spot is the Demons. With uh, Estorosa, Trader Melly, Chandler, and Blue Zaldris. I think this is a valid position. Um, valid, valid. Uh, I'm going with Melly first, just in case. Valid, valid uh, spot, number two spot is pretty good for them. And it was like number one until like a week ago. So this seems rocking. I think blue Zaldras in the back really is the best because the attack lower, but you can actually put the other Zaldras as well, Festival Zaldras, because the Holy Relic is super, super powerful. And I don't know how much to say. I've used this team so much. And demons are my boys, so. Just knowing the demons are good is great. Food counter. Like the dodge food. I have dodge food because this team is made to go second as well. Or maybe not made to go second, but great. As a team to go second with. Which is one of the best parts about it, I feel like. Nice counters. Let's make sure the Merlin's dead. Unfortunately, we did not get a melee. Um... Single target here, but it's fine. And he knows he lost. Demons are still super, super powerful regardless of the amount of mono greens to around. Now for number one spot is... Oh my god. The worst thing I could possibly use against my enemy right here. And the number one spot is the mono green unknown team. And I think it's a really valid first position, although really... Really unfortunate to face the specific team we're facing right now. Wow, that's so unlucky. So, so unlucky. He can just cleanse as well. 
And yeah, I think currently this is in fact the best team in the game. But we're facing the only team that actually cocks us, basically. I mean, there seems I can win against Mono Green, obviously. But this team specifically obliterates us. There is absolutely nothing I can do about it. Actually nothing. Uh, unless I kill Rimuru, which is a possibility. Let's see if we can do that. But yeah, this team is honestly... Uh, and I said this when Merlin um, came out and I felt like Merlin just wasn't all that great. Uh, she... What do I do here? There, there's nothing I can do. There is legit nothing I can do. Like, because he cleanses, that's the problem, he cleanses. She needed another unit to be really, really powerful, and she got it. That unit is called Philo. Now she is part of, like, the best team in the game. And this Philo unit obliterates so long as the enemy has five debuffs, which I couldn't do because <laughs> of that list. <laughs> the it just ruined my number one spot showcase. Well, I'm keeping this in because it's not like it's an uncounterable team. Obviously, again, if you are using that team specifically, you really hard counter the team that really wants to just do full AoEs, which is why the meta right now isn't so top heavy as past metas like when Bond first came out. Like, you can still win against the number one team in the game if you're using tactics like this, right? Are you kidding me? Not even give me a level 3? Wow, game. Wow. It really didn't want to, didn't want me to win. But yeah, if you want to win against Mono Green, do that. You're probably going to lose against many other teams, though. Many, many other teams, including now for me, is going to absolutely demolish you if you're using this, what he's doing. But now he's using now for me. Um, Mono Red is going to destroy you. Demons are going to destroy you. A lot of teams in the game you're not going to be able to win against if you're specifically using the team that this guy is using. But against Mono Green, which is insanely popular right now, it's really, really powerful too. So uh, that was the number one spot, losing. Great stuff. Although I would, I probably am going to put it at number one on my list as well. Uh, this team is just incredibly powerful. I just happened to face the one team I couldn't win against. <laughs> it's just fantastic. But to finish off the video, you may or may not notice that now for me made no presence in that list. The people who made the list, this, this list has been around for days, so they had time, um, is unironically saying that King Kyo and Green Galfer is better than anything now for me can put um, forth. And that's just completely untrue. Now for me is incredibly powerful. I am probably going to put him as, num as a top three, maybe four teams in the game, he's just so powerful and so versatile, and he, he can win against any team in the game. Every single team in the game, now for me, has the upper hand. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know why he's, he wasn't present, but he should have been.